mutants on the matter. He goes to another section of the wall and pulls out this chalk that's covered with, like, wax paper. And he opens it up. And the brick in there is a white substance as well. You can use this... Insert it any way you can into a mutant and it'll ensure that they have a peaceful death within 30 minutes. <laughs> and how much are both of those? <laughs> the vial? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask, but are you two, or either of you, ruin hunters? Or witch hunters? No. No. Well, at least I'm not. But I'm sorry I can't sell you the vial. And what about that chalk? It would cost you 500. I would turn to Crystal and say, do we need anything like that? Can you repeat what it did? Because my computer decided to shit itself right when he was explaining it. If a mutant were to ingest it, they will die peacefully in 30 minutes. Uh, I might... Possibly? Then we will take that as well. I'll get it ready for you. Keep in mind, you need to make sure that it stays dry. If it gets wet, it can dilute the process. Do you have anything to keep it dry? I can wrap it in wax paper and give it um, a proper leaf fitting. But after that, that'll be on you. And how many uses is it? It'll be ten. Sells in bulk. Just making sure. All right. Uh, Anything well, else that you're interested in buying? I can tell you that my knowledge is probably a lot better than yours, so asking questions will do you better than looking at things hopelessly without understanding them. Damn. <laughs> he seems to say He's that poignantly not looking lying. at Crystal. Well, we are going to be traveling to a few nearby cities. And there's still been a recent rise of ruin in the area. Which ones? I don't know. I never bothered to get the names. The cities all look the same. I suggest that you avoid flats at the time being. They're going through a recent outbreak that they're trying to contain, which we have yet to find a proper means of remedying. remedying. Flat? What's that outbreak? What outbreak is it? I don't have much detail, I only have what letters were sent to me be about it, but apparently it's something they believe is being transmuted through fleas and ticks down there. But as for traveling anywhere else... can tell you are not native. So I suggest you buy this as he holds out an orange flavor, uh, flavor orange, an orange flavored book. <laughs> an a orange flavored vial of liquid. It helps stave off a lot of disease that can be caused by the insects around here. Or illnesses and flus. <clears throat> and how much is that? It would also be 200. 
Is that also ten uses? Yes. Okay. I I can't buy both of those. Both? Wait, what are you buying? Oh, were you going to buy those? I've been buying everything I've been talking about. Okay, cool. I do not know what you have bought. I haven't bought shit. Y you want to just talk about it later? Sure. Okay. Uh, we'll micromanage later. Yeah. But as for that, that would be my only suggestion. I mean, you may want to buy some of this as he holds out a couple of herbs. It helps and saves they... off some of the wildlife. They don't like its scent. And is, is it something that looks common around here? It does not look common. Well, you don't know around here. You just know with the knowledge of where you came from. Well, I, but I've been in this general area for quite some time. So that's why I'm saying. It's still... Like I, well, around in the that sense, of yes, it right. seems yeah. uncommon. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. How much wildlife is dangerous? Not run across much. These are for the big ones. You burn these in fires and they hate the stench of it. One of the bigger ones that it seems to work against is the Garakamontu, or the Garnox that most of the crooks like to call them by. Can you spell that for me? And it's... And I'm going to attempt a knowledge nature on that thing. They are these large um, quadrupedal. Quadrupedal? That's eight legs, correct? Octopedal? Quadruped is four. Four, so not quadrupedal. Uh, I, I'd call it an octopedal. It has. Eight like it. Three row it has three rows of legs. And is this lizard like creature with a gnarly horn. That the same lizard that um Boom Boom had? The thing that Boom Boom killed, yes. Oh. I I thought he owned that. No. It was going to kill you guys in the forest, but ran into Boom Boom's traps. Oh, okay, cool. And off of the information I have of that, how confident do I feel like taking it down? You don't. All right, I'll buy some of that then. <laughs> how much is that, at least? That'd be 150. All For right. 10 leaves. Yeah. I believe that's all that I can really say that warrants precautionary if you're going to be traveling around here in Altera. Thank you. It has helped a lot. You said 150 or 1? One? 150. Alright, and with that I will Hand them all the money for the antitoxins, the vaccine, the mutant chalk, the animal leaves, and the, there's the general cure for diseases. All right. And he will give you all those proper, properly wrapped and put into 
a makeshift wicker basket. All right. And with um, a leaf covering. And uh, to my knowledge, the the vaccine is a drink, the chalk is a chalk, and the rest of it's leaves? Yes. Okay, just making sure. And then at some point, if you can give me the names for those and wait. Or the names I would at least know. All of them and their intervals of 10 weigh one. Okay. So, with that, the two of you finally walk out. And the scene moves directly back over to Adze and Sharptooth as you watch Naomi and Akko move with the large individual back to one of the other kiosks in the distance. Look down to Sharptooth. So, um, how you doing? Seems to just be, um, cleaning his tooth with his knife. Eh? Hey, how you doing? How you feeling? Thirsty. Well, there's plenty of rain. He shrugs. You know, just, like, hold up my head and open my mouth. Uh, and then you drown. <laughs> now he shanks it. You hold your head up and open your mouth as you watch something start to fall from the sky directly in your direction. I make a spot check to see what it is. I mean, I'm assuming because it's still raining, right? Yes. Yeah, 17. It's hard to make out, but by the time it gets close enough... You watch it expand and try to do a shock face at you as you see the ghostual appear, gash, ghost-like appearance of the specter that's always been following you. He flinches and kind of just goes to the to the ground by you know by his pure instinct, but then figuring out, oh right, he can't do anything. Just get. <laughs> kind of floats above your head chuckling before moving into a random direction as it just sits on the ground cross-legged do you look to sharp tooth or say anything he looks over to sharp tooth <laughs> his head seems to be following the creature Can you what do you see? Hmm? What do you see? He shrugs. Tell me exactly what you just saw. Ah. Uh, tiny thing fall from sky and make you almost poop self I grab him by the shoulders you saw that <laughs> <laughs> poor sharp too. you saw that he's just like waggling his dagger from you <laughs> I I'm do, sorry do we hear his sad cries <laughs> do you have passive listen Do I? Which I it would be a technique. Did you buy it? Yeah. Did you do you have Oh, it's a technique? To... Yes. Yeah. You have to then no. buy a technique to have I passed. don't think so. So how many ranks in listen do you have? Not enough. Probably not. Uh, 11. So, whoa, okay. <laughs> you hear something awkward on the distance. You turn around, and sure enough, still obscured a little by the rain, but you could see what looks like Adze reaching out, holding on to Sharptooth, and Sharptooth flailing. 
She just doesn't really know what to think right now. <laughs> You saw that? How did you see that? No one's been able to see that! I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay. Put, put his hands on his knees. Okay, so... Do Cruxes see other things that other people can't see, usually? Sharptooth does. You do? Why do you see it? He shrugs. Okay. Okay, this is... This is different developments. Um... We should talk some more. Um, about... Things. No, you scary. No, I... I put, I put, I put my hand on his shoulder. We are talking some more. See, scary! <laughs> Look, alright? I've been dealing with this my whole life. I'm not... And when I finally have answers, I'm not gonna let it just walk by, okay? We're talking about this later. I can't walk because you hold on to Sharp Tooth. I... T what? Has, has this always been a thing with you? Have you ever always been able to see things? He shrugs. Sharp Tooth can't remember. Damn it! Have you seen that specific one before? I point, I point to where it was, but obviously gone. He nods. Has it been with you for a while? He shakes his head. You see others? Not often, no. But you have seen others? He shrugs and nods. Do you have any idea why? No. <sighs> but Sharp well, Tooth saw start. that one last night. Where? Oh, it was going into your head last night while sleeping. Right. Okay, by last night, do you mean while we were in the cabin or when we were at the cave? You didn't have him at the cave. Exactly. Okay. That fuck, I say out loud. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Pat him on the shoulder. Just sit down. Thinking. Contemplating. <laughs> Once you're done and you start thinking and looking around, the few people that are out here are just looking at you very wearily as you <laughs> make a huge scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just all of them think, it's like, is he gonna kill that poor crux in here? <laughs> <laughs> that poor crux, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just we probably have been introducing a lot of cruxes lately to them. We have been. They're probably like, oh, I guess they don't kill us on site. No. Hey, they're not that bad. But, the, but, but those half-orcs, fuck them. <laughs> Speaking of which, Naomi, you make your way back to the... Well, did you continue going after seeing that? That's a question. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you make your way back to the dude's stall as he works on getting things opened and whatnot. Eventually, as the time passes by, all right. So you you were looking for something for his size. Yeah, he's looking for a shirt. Hmm. I don't have much in the way of shirts, but I do have more of these leaf cloaks, if you're interested. 
I can she do thinks a, for a moment. I can do just as much as a shirt if you're not worried about bearing a little just. What do you think, Akko? Uh, sure, as long as it's not too much. How much for one in his size? I don't like to make people pay more or less just because how they big, big they are. So, all my leaves are always 150. I hope Akko has that much. Your friendly neighborhood Naomi does. No, she doesn't. He sighs and then pays the man. He did it! Yay! Now with Leaf Cloak. Cool. And... So. Yeah, go ahead. She'll bid him adieu and head back to Adze, Adze and and the Adze. sharp tooth. Because Adze. she's very, very concerned about what she saw. Not before she had to buy clothes. So around wow. the same time as you guys, um, you're, uh, both you and Akko are heading back. And at the same time as the other two make their way back, you all just hear on the, uh, like, carrying over the air, just, FUCK! As you make your way, hearing a very distinguished voice of Adze. It's almost at all the same time you make your way to see Adze just sitting in the water of the rain while on the dock. Uh, Shark Tooth looking, looking a little apprehensive to him. Is everything okay? He saw it. I point to Sharp Tooth. He saw it. Saw it? Saw what? <sighs> Don't worry, I think I'll be able to fix it now. If I have someone else, I might be able to do something about it. About what? Visions, dreams. <sighs> he can help. I point to Sharp Tooth, he can help. He hides behind <laughs> Akko. She looks worriedly between Sharptooth and Adze. Have you ever thought it was maybe the nature calling you back? No, no it's not. It's fucking something. And I know how to get rid of you now, probably, maybe. Well, what is it? I don't... I don't know, it's some weird thing. It flies around, bugs me. And as you say that, you see it flying behind Naomi and just smirking and just shaking its head no. It's behind you right now. Naomi turns around. It's is, is there a spot check we can do for that? No. There is not. Naomi, you turn around and... You just look at this old man currently walking in the room. <laughs> along the pier. Like, his hand on his back and just like... Oh, I can't wait to get drunk! I'd say you really shouldn't call him an it. I, I'm not talking about that I stand up and I try to and hold on okay Yaji as you look you're taken aback as you do see something oh boy <laughs> as you see floating behind Naomi something that gives you great pause is this something that's familiar to me? 
ghastly, so... Is this something I can make a religion roll on? Something you can make a history roll on. Damn. <laughs> Let's give it a spin. Five. That's a five, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I love it when I find your skills you suck at. <laughs> <laughs> I can suck at a lot of things. Don't talk. As you look at it, you see, for what it is, the form of a fox-like spirit that just seems to be snickering. But the moment when your eyes lock to it, it stops and turns to look at you. Hazel green eyes, seemingly unbelievably so familiar to you, Yaji. As the color in its gastial face kind of just drains. As then it fades out of existence in sight. Did I notice it look at Yaji? Yes. I look over at Yaji, who was now, who was looking at that. Did you see that too? I'm waiting for a reply. I forgot what that was. Um. Yeah, I can't say that out loud. Okay, then I'll just slowly turn my head, waiting for Anthony to get his shit together. <laughs> hey, if I can figure out exactly <laughs> what it is, that's another leg. You could just PM me what you say that. I did. Uh, yeah, you just said. Then yes, you assume. Did okay. you see that? Yes. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? No, I don't. We will need to talk tonight. <sighs> all right. All right. Having to wait for an answer is better than not having an answer at all. Okay. I got that all sorted out. <sighs> Meanwhile, right, Naomi but... and Crystal, you just seem confused. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd say, uh, I don't think there's anything behind me. You didn't see it, I know, but. Sharp tooth saw it, he points to him. And you point to Yaji. You saw it. That's right. good enough for me. I don't know if Sharp Tooth saw anything. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Yaji, are you okay? She'll put a hand on his arm. There are some things in this world I wish I had a chance to rectify. Well, like you said, we could talk about it later, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so... Did you guys get everything you needed? Yes. As I will pull out a orange-flavored vial. <laughs> What's that? This is a vaccine to help with the diseases of this place. Drink. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, we could probably do that a little later. There is no... No. 
cannot delay this. How long does it last? Mm. Shouldn't we wait until we're actually going on the road? We have to deal with all that stuff before instead of wasting it now? If you don't want it, that's fine. I'll take it later. Oh, uh, meanwhile, he'll he'll drink his dose. So, uh, right. Naomi, you bought uh, Akko a new cloak? Oh, I didn't buy it. He bought it. Oh, okay. How's that working for you? Look over to Akko. Well, it's better than nothing. All right. Crystal, did you get everything you needed? <clears throat> Yeah, we found some interesting things. Okay. Let's head over to that, um, that, uh, inn. That really fancy inn. I just want to see if Kala is still in, or if she's gone. Is that the same inn we're supposed to meet up at? No, that's, uh, the, the one that we're supposed to meet up at is a restaurant's name, the, um, The Last Catch. It's, um, I can do a knowledge local, and I'm gonna point him that it would be around that direction. Which is at the opposite end of where the last catch is. The last catch is at the end of the pier where the fancy hotel is. Well, the end of the pier towards the water where the hotel is at the end of the pier towards the forest. So the last catch and the fancy hotel are almost like right across from each other? No. Opposite ends. Opposite ends, okay. Um, yeah, it's over there, kind of on the opposite end of where I'd like to check up for just one sec. So if you don't want to, if you, if you don't want to tag along, I'll just um, go along by myself to talk to Iron Jaw for a second. And maybe Kala, depending. I will meet you there then. I need to think. Alright, at the last catch or the hotel? Or, the last last catch was the, the place we're supposed to meet up, right? Yes. Then yeah, the Perfect. last catch. Okay. Yeah, well, let's catch that way. I'm going the exact opposite way. All right, Crystal, do you want to come along or? Sure, I'll come with you. All right. I guess Naomi might stay with Akko. <laughs> well, well, she'll say what she what Na- Naomi would do when she gets back. All right, so I just start heading over to the inn. As you make your way to the end, we're going to take this time to take a quick 10 minute break. Hmm. As you all begin to split up once more, getting closer to completing all your little tasks here at ELP in preparation for the bigger journey at hand. So we'll be back here within 10 to 15 minutes. See you guys then. Peace. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. That that's 